Hello and welcome back to your PE lessons with Mr. Bill. So this week we're going to be focusing on tennis. Okay, so a little bit different to everybody who's done before. What we're going to be focusing on today is our main session objective is hand-eye coordination and how to use a tennis racket. This session it doesn't matter if you've got a tennis racket or not. Okay, because we'll show you very simple ways to do the same activities without using a tennis racket. Okay, hope that sounds good to you. Progression in today's session, we'll be able to use our weaker hand. Key words, okay. Focusing on hand-eye coordination, little taps and little hits, and to be able, uh, to be successful, we'll be able to do little hits and little taps during our lesson today. Session should last for about 20 to 30 minutes. And our main activity is tennis. This session is available for everybody from uh, all the way down in year one, or early years, all the way up to year six, okay? So I hope we're all gonna have some fun today as well. Let's all have fun. Let's all try and learn something new. Let's all be safe when we're doing it, okay? This is a very important one. So if you're inside, make sure we've got enough room and enough space. <laughs> And both your mum and dad or carers have said it's okay for you to do today's session indoors. If not, just go outside. I'm doing mine indoors today because it is raining. And we're also going to make sure, if there is anything in your way, and you're doing it indoors, that we move it out of the way for me now, or get your parents or carers to do so. Respect, make sure we're respecting everybody in today's session. Okay? So there might be people working at home at the moment. Can we please respect them? Um, making noise, try and keep it down for me. Hopefully we can have some fun and learn something new. Apart from that, we're going to move on to our warm-up today. Okay, and because we're doing tennis, we are going to do a tennis-based warm-up where we're going to be doing lots of walking, jumping, sprinting. Okay, in our warm-up. We could do it on the spot, or if you've got space, we can do it on the space. To start with, what I want us to do is start by just marching on the spot, we're gonna get our knees nice and high. It is important to warm up, so we can get blood pumping around our body to our muscles that we're going to be using in today's session. So jogging on the spot for me. I'm jogging nice and slow to start with, okay. Good, and now little jumps on the spot, just little jumps on the spot, fantastic. Back to jogging on the spot for me. Fabulous, well done. And little jumps on the spot again. Three easy hands on our heads. Shoulders, heads, shoulders, heads. Jogging on the spot again. Hopping on the spot. Hopping on the spot on the other leg. Good back to jogging. Fantastic, well done. Freeze. I want to put your legs. Shoulder width apart for me. My hands out like a star. We're going to bend down and touch one of our foot if we can. And we're going to hold that stretch for eight seconds, okay? Fantastic. Now we're going to go bend and bend down the other way. Exactly the same, we're going to hold that stretch for eight seconds. Relax and just shake that out for me. Brilliant. Now I want us to do while we're standing up. It's because in tennis, we're going to be trying to hit the ball down and high. Today, so I've got two different cones. Our oh, red cone, so when I hold up my red cone, we're going to jump up in the air, nice and high with one arm, and pretending we're going to try and hit the ball. And our yellow cone today is something we're going to practice later on in the sessions, is a Forearm circle. Okay, so we're going to go overarm or we're going to go forearm. We're pretend we're holding a racket. Okay, so just get that right technique. So red over our head, yellow to the side. Are we ready? Off we go, jogging on the spot. And it can be red to start with, so a big jump up and a big smash above our head. So we're smashing above our head. Okay, so we're going to catch up on later on in the sessions. 
like a yellow one is to the side, so we're going to step in and pretend we're hitting the ball back on the side. Fantastic, and carry on jogging on the spot for me. And yellow, step on one side, can we hit it next from one side? Fantastic, keep it up the good work. Can we drop it on the spot again? Keep dropping on the spot, fantastic. Good, fantastic work. Well done, boys and girls, just checking on how, who's doing fantastic. Good, and smash to everyone. It's a smash over our head, fantastic. Carry on jogging on that spot. Brilliant work so far, everybody. Well done, keep it up. Can we drop it on the spot? And our final one is going to be our forearm. Fantastic, and relax. Brilliant, well done. Shake that all out, fantastic. What I want us to do now is we're going to make some little windmills. So, nice and easy. Let's all windmills. Our windmills are going to be getting bigger. And now I want us marching whilst we are doing those windmills. Fantastic work, everybody. Good, relax and shake that all out. Brilliant, well done. Fantastic start to the lesson. So if you want to, get yourself a quick drink of water. Please make sure we're drinking water or juice that we add water to, okay? To keep our body hydrated whilst we're doing activities. So what we're going to do now is using our tennis racket. So it doesn't matter at home if you haven't got a tennis racket. You could use a badminton racket or a squash racket or even a cricket bat, okay? But exactly the same, it doesn't matter if you haven't got any, because if we haven't got one, all we're going to use is our hand, because today's session is going to be exactly the same with a racket or without a racket, okay? Which is absolutely fine. So, what we're going to do today, to start with, we're going to hold the tennis racket for today's session like we would hold a frying pan. So, what might we put on our frying pan? What might we do later this month with our frying pan? What do we flick in the air? It would be pancakes, okay? Because it's pancake day coming up in February and Mr. Bill loves pancakes. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our racket out to the side like so, making sure that our thumb, as you can see, is at the top of our racket. All we're going to do is practice to start with Balancing the ball on our racket, moving backwards and forwards five times. Off we go. Making sure we keep our head facing forward, boys and girls, as well. If we're looking down at the floor, we might bump into something. So, heads facing forwards as we are moving backwards and forwards. If you haven't got a tennis racket, it does not matter because with our small ball, exactly the same, we put our hand out onto our palm of our hand, which is where we're going to put our ball, and we're going to move around exactly the same, making sure it stays in our palm and it doesn't fall off. Exactly the same in today's session if you haven't got a ball either. It doesn't matter if you haven't got a ball, because we're going to use our hand and a piece of paper. Everybody should have some paper at home, just screw a piece of paper up and use that for today's session. What I would recommend is you ask your mums and dads first before you do that. So we're going to put that on our palm of our hand and walk it back and forth again. Exactly the same, making sure that our piece of paper or our ball do not fall off our hands or do not fall off our tennis racket. Fantastic. Well done, boys and girls. Brilliant. That's the first part done. What I would like to see you do now is if we can try and progress already, I know some of you can do it. What I'd like you to do now is if we could do exactly the same with our weaker hand, okay? So for me, my strong hand is my right hand, that's the hand I write with. My weak hand is my left hand, I don't write with my left hand, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to put thumb on the tennis racket if you've got a tennis racket, ball in the middle, exactly the same, moving. Up and down five times, keeping your head facing forward. Making sure the ball doesn't bounce off. Good. 
Fantastic. Well done. Good work. So far, boys and girls. Really, really good. Good. Well done. Exactly the same as if you haven't got a tennis racket. We can use our palm of our hand with a ball like so, moving backwards and forwards, or palm of our hand with our piece of paper moving backwards and forwards as well. Fantastic, that is our first real part of using the tennis racket today. So what we're going to do now, is we do something called little taps. What our little taps will consist of today is putting the ball in the centre like we did. And all we're going to do is flick our wrist up as we're doing so, like so. The ball needs to be bouncing as we move our hands up. If we do big hits, we're not going to keep the ball under control. So all I want us to do is little hits or little taps with tennis racket, like so. What I'd like to see you do, okay, is a little challenge in a minute. So I want you to practice if you've got tennis racket. If you haven't, like I said, we can use the palm of our hand. We're gonna do little taps up into the air, keeping our eyes facing the ball or heads facing forward if you're using a tennis racket, okay? Fantastic boys and girls, well done. Exactly the same if you're using your piece of paper, okay? So we'll do a little hit to our piece of paper as well. Do you think we can do that? Off we go, fantastic. What we're going to do is we're going to set your little challenge and want to help link in with some maths. How many can you do in one minute Starting from now. Let's see if we can beat Mr. Bill. Off we go. Keep going, boys and girls. Really, really good. Keep going. Oh, Mr. Bill lost his ball, so he's going to stop. And you guys keep going. Fantastic work. Well done. Keep going. And relax and shake it all out for me. Put your tennis racket either on the floor or to the side of you. Shake your arms out, well done. How many did you manage to do in that one minute? I managed to do 94, okay, which is a good start to the day. How many did you guys manage to do? Did, were you able to beat 94? Were you able to beat your brother or sister who might be doing it as well, okay? So with the counting, if you're working with a brother or sister as well and you've only got one tennis racket between you, you can count for each other, okay? And you're both gonna be helping your maths, so well done. What we're going to do now is we're gonna do exactly the same again, but I want to see us try and beat our score from last time, okay? This time, I'm gonna make it a bit harder for myself, okay? I'm going to use the piece of paper and my hand to demonstrate that we can do this for those children who haven't got a tennis racket today. So, our minute will start Now, off we go. Do that, boy, you girls. It doesn't matter if you drop it. Or the ball bounces off, it doesn't matter, just keep going. Keep going, boys and girls, last 20 seconds. And 
stop there and relax. How many did you manage to do in one minute? I managed to do 99 that time, or did I? Let's see if you can believe me. Did I do 99? We shall see. How many did you manage to do? And were you able to beat your score from last time? If you were, give yourself a big thumbs up and a big round of applause, well done. What we're going to do now is, if you're using the tennis racket, we're gonna make it a little bit harder, we're gonna progress the session again. We can progress this two ways. Okay, we could progress it by using our weaker hand, is one of our progressions, or we can use exactly the same technique to do this session. We could do it with our weaker hand, or we could do it with our stronger hand, okay? But when we do it with our stronger hand, moving backwards and forwards. Okay, so how many more can you do in a minute? I'm gonna use my weaker hand. So I'm going to click my ball, and we will start once I put my ball back. So, are we ready? That minute starts now. I'm going to use my weaker hand and see how we can get on using our weaker hand. Three, two, one, off we go. Keep going, boys and girls, you're doing a really, really good job. Keep it going. <coughs> Mr. Bills just lost his tennis ball again. And keep going, boys and girls. Last 10 seconds, all of you doing a fantastic job. So well done. Exactly the same activity can be done with our piece of paper and our weaker hand as well, as we did earlier on, okay? So fantastic. Keep it going and relax. How many were you able to do in one minute that time? Okay, give yourself a big round of applause. Okay, Mr. Bill forgot to count. So how did you get on? Please, please, please. Shout out now to your video how many you managed to do. I can't hear you all, but all I'm going to say is a massive well done. So fantastic work so far today. We're going to do exactly the same again on our progression. We're going to use our weaker hand again. But the only reason we're going to do that again using our weaker hand is how many little taps can we do? Can we beat our score from last time? Are we ready? Off we go. Keep going, boys and girls. Fantastic work so far. Keep going. Last 30 seconds. Do it. Keep going. And relax in 10 seconds. So keep working. Keep working. Do really, really good work. Well done. And four seconds. Three two, one, and relax. A massive well done. Get yourself a quick drink if you need to have a quick drink or you want a quick drink. What we're going to move on to now is our little taps. So, so far we've done our little hits into the air. Now we're going to do our little taps into the floor. Okay. So, what we're going to do this time is our hand is going to do exactly the same, but we're not putting our thumb there. Our whole fist as you can see, is wrapped around my tennis racket. Now what we're going to do, we can get into the position that we want to. I want you to go side on today, whilst we're doing it, and we're going to do our little taps, and our thumb is once again back at the top. So we're doing our little taps into the floor. Okay, just to practice this, how I want us to do it. So we're doing our little taps, when it comes back up, and we're just tapping it nice and slowly back into the floor.
So all we're doing is a little tap into the floor. It comes back up and we're doing another push into the floor. Okay, we don't want to be hitting it really hard back into the floor like this because we're not going to get our ball back, are we? Okay, so it needs to be a little tap into the floor when we're doing so. Good, fantastic. How many of those can you do in one minute? Start your counting now, off you go. Fantastic. Keep up the good work, boys and girls. Well done. Good. Keep going, boys and girls. Fantastic work. Keep going. Last 10 seconds. How many can you do in the last couple of seconds? Keep going. Keep the hard work going. Well done. And relax. Nice and easily. Well done. Exactly the same is if you've not got a tennis racket with you, you can use your hands. Exactly the same activity, so we're bouncing it into the floor. As it's coming up a bit like our basketball bounces, but today I'm allowing you to use your part. Excellent. How many did you do in that minute? Okay. I managed to do 52. If any of you managed to beat my score, massive well done. And what I'd like you to do is carry on practicing if you didn't, okay? It doesn't matter. It's all about challenging yourselves. So a massive well done. What we're going to do for another minute, we're going to do exactly the same to see if we can beat our previous score. You ready? That minute starts now. Good, keep going, keep going. Massive well done to everybody so far. You've got about 10 seconds to 15 seconds to go. Good, fantastic, and relax and stop just there. So, a massive well done to all of those that beat your score from last time. If you didn't, keep practicing, okay? So, a massive well done. If you want to keep practicing, just pause the video now, okay, and we'll come back to it later on, if you want to. But what we're going to do now is we're going to progress that session. So if you found that easy, we're going to make it a little bit harder, and once again, we're going to use our weaker hand. Okay, exactly the same. We're going to bounce it into the floor using our weaker arm, or weaker hand. You ready? Off we go. Exactly the same, if you haven't got a tennis ball, you, oh, if you haven't got a tennis racket, sorry, you can do exactly the same with the ball. Fantastic work, everybody. Well done, keep it going. Good. relax and shake it all out for me. A massive well done. So I hope you kept counting that time. Mr. Bill did 42 with his weak hand through his weak arm, okay, where his tennis racket was or what he used with his hand. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do another minute of work. See if you can improve your score from last time. If you can't, it doesn't matter, we'll just keep practicing. Off we go.
keep practicing boys and girls. You're doing a really, really good job. Keep it up. Well done. Keep it going. Massive well done so far. Good. Well done. Great work. The last five seconds or so. Four, three, two, and one. Massive well done to everybody who managed to beat your score from last time. Mr. Bill didn't do it that time. He only got 27. How many did you manage to do? Did you beat his score from last time? If you did, give yourself a massive thumbs up and a well done. If you didn't, keep practicing, okay? Because you're all doing a fantastic job. Okay, fantastic, well done. What we're going to do now, okay, just a quick recap of what we've done so far today. We've done our little hits, we've done our little taps. So our hits are up, taps are down. So hits were up, taps down, okay? So a massive well done for those who have done that. What I'm going to do for you boys and girls is I'm going to set you a target. I would like you to practice that again in your own time during the week and see if we can beat our score from last time. Okay, so whatever score we got today, can we beat that again? Okay, that is a homework task I'm setting all of you for next week. Can we improve, or our next session, should I say, can we improve our hand-eye coordination by doing our little taps into the floor or our little hits into the air? So it's our taps into the floor, our hits into the air, okay? That's what I want you to go away and practice during the next couple of days. What we could do to make it a little bit harder again, if you're really enjoying today's session, what we could do is we could place some two pieces of clothing or equipment that you've got at home onto the floor. I'm using two cones because I'm lucky enough to be in a sports hall, but you might not have cones at home, so you might want to use a book and a jumper. Do our little taps going round, making sure we don't drop it. How many of those could you do in one minute? That's another task you could go home and practice, okay? So well done, a massive well done today in today's session. Just to finish off with, at the beginning of the session, we started the session with warm up, we now need to do a cool down. And the reason we do a cool down is to stop the build of lactic acid in our muscles, which means we might have cramp at the end of the day. So what we're going to do, to start with, we're going to stretch up our arms. We're going to make the letter T with our arms. We're going to hold that stretch for how many seconds? Can you remember? If you said eight seconds, you'll be right. Fantastic. And holding that stretch, off we go. And shake that off and stretch the other side. Just shake that all off. We're going to do this time. We're going to roll our head up into the air, all the way around. We're going to look one way. Put our arms out. We're going to look one way. And hold the stretch. Head down all the way around. And hold our stretch facing the other way. Fantastic. Legs apart this time. Find the stretch. We're going to put our hands on the floor. And all I want us to do is try and bend down and touch on our legs like we did our warm up. Holding those stretches for eight seconds. Fantastic, relax and shake that all off again for me. Brilliant, well done, fantastic boys and girls. So recapping, what did we do today? What were we working on today? We we're working on our hand, eye coordination. We we're also doing little hits into the floor and little taps into the air. Hope you all enjoyed today's session. Remember, keep practicing and remember your homework task of how many can you beat for the next session using either our hands or the tennis racket. So well done everybody today, fantastic session. From me, stay safe. Hope your family stay safe and I look forward to seeing you all again very soon for our second session of tennis. So massive well done today. See you all again soon.